This were the headlines on ATV. Hello and welcome. I am Rudwe Hans. The Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, marked its 38th founding anniversary in Ma'ala on Monday. Habib Mohammed Hazmo. Monday in Makala saw the 30 years founding anniversary of the Tigray People's Liberation Front TPLF with plenty of procession. The anniversary was graced by Prime Minister Haile Maram de Saleng, who is also chairperson of the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front, EPRDF. The Premier underscored that TPLF has laid firm foundation for the prevailing multi factor progress in the country. Haile Maram underlines that the day is being observed where Ethiopians have renewed commitment to realize the vision of the late Prime Minister Malizenai of expediting Ethiopian Renaissance. <laughs> We have lost tens of thousands of martyrs so far, and recently, Prime Minister Malazenawi, who left us his legacies of realizing a developed Ethiopia. This event would be a milestone to further motivate us to pursue our progress with great determination. Abai Wolu, chief of Tigray State and chairperson of Tigray People's Liberation Front, noted that the people of Tigray had been successful in toppling the Dur regime through 17 years of bitter struggle for freedom. The people are now determined to eradicate poverty by undertaking developmental projects. <laughs> We are striving to mobilize the public to successfully implement environment protection through irrigation schemes to establish green development strategy. We'll distrust that the people of Tigray are steadfast to join hands with their Ethiopian sisters and brothers to advance the current socio-economic and political cultural beginnings of the country. Prime Minister Haile Maram de Saleng and high-profile government officials plus South African ambassadors to Ethiopia have laid rest at the Martyrs Monument there and a moment of silence has been observed for them for having sacrificed their lives to overthrow the dictatorial regime with the pursuit of ensuring a better Ethiopia. <laughs> Economic advisor to the Prime Minister, Arkaba Okwai, urged investors to engage in industry and agriculture sectors to enable Ethiopia join middle-income countries. While discussing with investors in connection with the 38th founding anniversary of the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, Arkaba said the government encouraged investors to engage in such sectors. To investors engaged in industrial development and mechanized farming with a view to attracting more investors to the sector. Arkaba said the growth and transformation plan has given priority to such areas in a bid to enabling the country increase its foreign currency earning from export of value added products. Employees of the Government Communication Affairs Office on Monday vowed for the second time to contribute their one-month salary for construction of the Renaissance Dam being undertaken in Ben Shangul Gum State. State Minister of Communication Shmelis Kamal on the occasion said the dam is the backbone for the ongoing efforts to double the country's economy. Shmelis said the construction of the dam is underway with the support of the Ethiopian people and commitment of the government. Ethiopia covers the entire cost for construction of the dam, which would have the capacity to generate 6,000 megawatts. Speaker of the Parliament of Somalia, Professor Mohamed Osman Jawari, has made a visit to Djidjiga, the capital of Somali region. On his arrival on Sunday, the Speaker was warmly welcomed by the regional president, Abdu Mohamed Omar, and other high-level officials. The Speaker visited a number of development activities in the region and also went to both Djidjiga University and Teachers Training College. During his visit, the university the speaker Jawari talked to Somali students taking courses at the university.
The first phase of construction of Net2 University has been completed. Net2 University started operation with two faculties, 294 students and 89 teachers in 2012. Upgrading its enrollment capacity, the university has currently accepted 1,800 students under six faculties and the number of teachers has also grown to 136. Inaugurating the University Chief of Oromia Regional States, Alamayo Atomsa said the university has been contributing a lot for the nearby community and the nation as well. Education State Minister Dr. Kaba Orgesa said the nation has managed to raise the number of universities to 31 from only two in the past years in its effort to ensuring accessibility of higher learning institutions. A workshop aimed at discussing the challenge facing adult education and putting recommendation is being held here in Addis Ababa. Addressing the forum, Deputy Prime Minister and Education Minister Demek Amakonen said the country needs to work giving great emphasis to addressing attitudinal and material provision problems facing adult education. The mega disclosed that though there has been a progress in this regard, the nation has still to do more to achieve the required change. It was noted that the Ministry of Education has a plan to build the capacity of 20 million adults by providing them with adult education at the end of the growth and transformation plan.